shacket season is upon us. What is a shacket? It's a shirt and a jacket combined. Let's begin. We have cheap and we have expensive options. Let's try them on. This right here is the first option. This right here is by the brand Monthy. M-U-N-T-H-E. This is their Packera jacket. 350 US dollars. We picked up a French 38, which is I think like a size six, like a four six. And then this is the color rose materials, 70% polyester and 30% wool. What do we think of it? First impression. I mean, I like how crazy it looks, but I'm not crazy about 70% polyester. Yes, I know. I expect it to be either wool mixed with cotton or something else, you know? Let's see how it fits. I think the size is good. It's definitely oversized. Like it doesn't look too big right here because you do have the dropped shoulder detail. But I will say the sleeves are very, very long. So basically what I did is just folded them twice so it doesn't look as baggy or as big but I do love the length of this. It's a little more loose, it's oversized, and I like that little detail towards the side. It kind of goes up, a little like scallop, little edge. But I love that you can wear leggings with this because it covers everything in the back and in the front if you do decide to button all the way down. I love the pockets. Pockets are huge. I mean, these are, these are a good set of pockets. No complaints. These right here are fake, but I like that they're fake because then I feel like it would add bulkiness in this region and nobody wants that. <laughs> I mean, unless you do. You have the button detail to close all the way up. I will say one thing, I'm just being very picky. For the quality and the price of this, I wish you couldn't see the white thread. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a light for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the outside, it has that brushed material where it's very soft. And then the inside, it's very rough. I will say right now, I'm like moving my arms and it is a little scratchy. It's a little uncomfortable. I think it'd be totally fine if I was wearing a long sleeve shirt because here I'm wearing like a t-shirt and it feels great. Like on my back, on my shoulders and my tummy, my chest, cause it's all covered. But on my arms, cause they're not covered, they're a little scratchy. So you can see the material inside, it's that kind of like scratchy wool material. It's not, I'm not a big fan. I don't wanna feel uncomfortable in my jacket or my shirt. But overall, it's a beautiful jacket. I just think it's very, very expensive because it is 70% polyester. What do you think, babe? Overall, the way it's sitting on me. I mean, it looks good. I love, I love the colors. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that it's scratchy, that's a big minus for me. I, would, I personally would buy it. Yeah. It's scratchy. All right, let's try on the next one because I think I kind of I kinda like the next one. Next one is by Abercrombie & Fitch. This is their plaid wool blend shirt jacket. Price 120 US dollars. We picked up a size US medium. Color off white plaid. Materials lining 100% viscose and shell 100% polyester. There we go. The fit of this jacket is actually really good. I was a little concerned because sometimes with Abercrombie and Fitch, if things say they're oversized or if it's a jacket, sometimes it could be really oversized. I was gonna get a small, but then I looked in the picture of the girl and I felt like the jacket was a little short in the back and on the side. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go for the medium. Let's do a little bit of an oversized look. And I'm so, so happy we did that because I think it's the perfect oversized look. It doesn't look too baggy. I will say the sleeves, again, are really big, but you can just do what I did, just roll the cuff just a little bit or just bring them all the way up to like your elbows to give it more of like a relaxed feel. And if it's a little bit warmer outside, but you still want something to layer, this is great. And I, like I said, love the length. In the front, it's hidden as well. <laughs> and then in the back, it's long enough where you can wear leggings without showing off your bum. I, I love this one more than the first one. I think just that cut is so flattering. I think they did a really gorgeous job with this jacket. It's a little bit more of a dropped shoulder, so it looks like you have bigger shoulders. So if you're worried about that, maybe go with your normal size and then go up a size if you want more of like an over, overall oversized fit. But I'm very happy about it. So the look of this jacket, I think it's really stunning. It has kind of like a weight to it, but it's actually very lightweight once you put it on. And this one is very soft and it has like that slippy feel on the inside. So it's kind of moving with your body because it has that viscose lining. So it feels kind of cooling to the touch. It's actually really nice. I have like goosebumps <laughs> on my body because the lining is all the way on the inside of the sleeves. 
right on the arms. And then it has the lining inside the pockets. So it's really nice. It's a very comfortable feel on. For the bu buttons, they're snap closure, which is so nice. And I kind of like the look of that like chrome. Pockets are real. Pockets are real and they're huge. And I like that they're not accentuated on the sides so they don't look make you look bigger around your hips. They're very slim and very low profile. So love this. This is definitely staying in my, in my closet and I kind of want to pick up more shades more colorways. The one thing I will say with the quality, it doesn't feel great. It feels plastic, like plastic material, but it's actually really nice and comfortable on. It's not scratchy by any means. Some of the material, because it is brushed on the outside, it's coming off very easily. But because on the inside, it's not as brush, a lot of it is not coming off on your clothes. Like I'm wearing black and there's not too much, too much material that's coming off. <laughs> And the one thing I will say about Abercrombie & Fitch, I feel like you can always get a sale all year round. Like this right here, originally 120, we bought it for $90. You know what I mean? It's nice that there's always sales available. But because of that, a lot of stuff gets sold out very fast. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that they thought about the lighting. Yes. All right, let's move on to number three. Third one is by the brand Altered State, and this is their relaxed plaid Shacket. Price $79.95. Size small, color taupe blue, and materials 100% polyester. Let's put it on, see how it fits. Actually, I'm happy that I got a size small because the length is perfect. The shoulders are also, I think this is the most dropped shoulder we have out of all the jackets, but I like where it's sitting. It doesn't look super bulky. I love the length, love the length. Again, it has a scalloped detailing on the sides, which is really beautiful. In the back, it's also long enough to hide your bum if you're wearing leggings or you wanna wear like shorts or whatever else. But the one thing I will say and complain about, there are no pockets. Yes, you have pockets right here, but I can't really, you know, put my hands up here. <laughs> <laughs> hold my hands in here or my phone. I can't hold my phone, but I wish I had pockets on the side. I don't know how they didn't include pockets if it's a shacket. So with the sleeves, they're the most tailored sleeves, but they still have a little bit of the oversized feel. But I love that the sleeves are cuffed. And the one thing I did here on this side, you can see I just rolled the cuff once to kind of give it more of a shorter look. And I think I actually prefer this way more than like this. So this material, it's 100% polyester. It's definitely, it has no lining. On the inside, it's that feeling like the first jacket where it's that rough material, it's not lined, it's scratchy when you're moving and the outside is brushed. So this right here, I would say it's not as breathable, it's not the most comfortable, but it is very lightweight and it feels good on. It doesn't feel great on the arms, so it's reminding me of the first jacket, which this is what I expect from cheaper jackets, barely any lining, the material, it's not as soft. Like comparing it to the Abercrombie, Abercrombie one is way softer. It's way more gentle on the skin because of that viscose lining. So that's the one thing I will complain about. I think the colors are beautiful on. I think it's, a pr it's even prettier on than holding like hanging on the hanger. The details, you have the button closure where you actually have to close it instead of snapping, which is a lot more secure. I appreciate that. One thing I will complain about the quality, something with this collar, it doesn't wanna go down perfectly. Like this, it's kind of riding up, rolling up right here. You can see that. Obviously you can fix it with an iron, but I'm just saying, I feel like it's gonna be that type of a jacket where it's gonna give me issues. <laughs> What do we think of this one? It looks pretty good. But? Because it's scratchy and it's all plastic. Like, I wouldn't be drawn towards it just because of that. I think what's putting me off, there is no, there are no pockets. I'm kind of not excited to even wear this because I'm like, where am I gonna put my phone if I'm wearing leggings? I don't know. It's just those one, you know, those things in my important mind. Things. The important things, yeah. But I think the color is beautiful. The size is phenomenal. The fit is great. I love the length. It's a really, really beautiful jacket for the fall and winter. I think you can't go wrong. Just keep in mind, there are no pockets to keep your hands in, put your phone in, your keys, whatever else. Let's put on the last jacket, jacket. Let's see how that one works and feels and wears. This right here is by Rue 21. This is their neutral plaid brushed wool jacket. Price $29.99. We picked up a size US medium. 
color black combo, and then materials 90% polyester, 5% wool, and 5% cotton. So let's put this on. It looks very nice, very neutral. And I wanna mention from the most expensive to the cheapest, the jackets are getting very light, very light. And they're more of like a shirt instead of a jacket or just depending, a jacket instead of a shirt, depending how lightweight you wanna go. But they are getting a lot lighter in feel as you go down in price. <laughs> a lot less material. Yes. Okay. So happy I picked up a US medium. Even though they said it's an oversized fit, again, on their model, the jacket, it looked more of like a, sh like a shorter shirt. So I'm happy we got a US medium. So you can see it has a little bit of an oversized feel, but it's not too heavy looking with the shoulders because it does have a little bit of a dropped shoulder look. And the one thing I will say, like I was mentioning, this right here is the lightest jacket that we have out of the four. And it definitely is the least structured jacket. It's super lightweight, but it definitely has a little bit of a warmth to it. And it's that material, again, it's brushed on the outside. And then on the inside, it's, it's not as brushed. It's still brushed, but it's not as brushed. There is no lining, so it's a little scratchy, but not as scratchy as the first and the third, so I love that. I will say one thing that I love about this, we both said it right away, we love the big oversized brown buttons. I think that really gives this, this jacket or this jacket a different look than just a regular shirt because I feel like if I got this in my regular size, it would look like a regular shirt, but it would be like an awkward fit. The quality is not the best. <laughs> whatsoever. We have all of these little stitches sticking out. Stitches? <laughs> They're not stitches. Stitching sticking out. The material is, is not great. You can kind of see through some of these parts. It's very lightweight. That's what I'm saying. This material, it doesn't feel like a shacket. It's not going to keep you super warm. It's more of that just layering transitional piece to where when it's still warm outside, but not cold and freezing. Does that make sense? It's more of like an accessory piece. But I do like the length. I like that it's covering the back, it's covering the front. You have the scallop detailing on the side. It's definitely the highest of the four, which I think is nice. And the best part, it actually has pockets that are functional. <laughs> they're definitely the smallest pockets and they're a little tight to get in. <laughs> but they're pockets and they're lined, so that's good. But I'm liking this jacket a lot. One thing I will say, it smells. <laughs> what, what is that? It kind of smells like an old jacket that was sitting in someone's attic for years and it kind of just smells musty. But I think it's just the material. It's just, it smells musty. I will say the colors are really beautiful in person. You have this really beautiful cream. You have a darker, no, actually it's black. You have a black with this beautiful brown. I think the colors are really stunning, very versatile, and you can pair it with so many different outfits. I think if you're looking for a jacket that is very lightweight, you can just throw on with your like athleisure look with your leggings. I think this jacket is the way to go because it's not gonna break the bank. And if I were you, if you want more of like an oversized look, definitely go up one size. If you want more of like a tailored look, that's not gonna be super oversized, but still be a little bit bigger, keep with your regular. But I'm really happy I went with the medium because it's definitely longer. Quality is not the best, it's not great, <laughs> but I think it will do for $30. <laughs> and I'm happy that it actually looks really nice. Phenomenal option, phenomenal option. Your favorite? This one right here is definitely a jacket. It's gonna keep you warm enough. It's a really great layering piece. You can still wear sweaters underneath this. This, I feel like I wouldn't wanna wear a sweater because it has no structure. This one, yes, and they have multiple colors to choose from. I think they did a phenomenal job. They knocked it out of the park with this one. The quality is really great and it just, it looks really, really nice. All right, I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, spending time with me and these jackets as we're transitioning, transitioning into cooler weather. So excited for that. But for now, I'll see you the next one very soon.